President Obama says he wants to double exports in the next five years, but some are saying that plan bumps up against his push for climate change. I'm joined now by Commerce Secretary Gary Locke in a first on Bloomberg Television interview. Uh, Secretary Locke, great to talk with you again. Good to see you, Betty. So the president is going to be talking about the Export-Import Bank and, of course, you know, sort of the how it's going to be financing the needs of various companies and projects. Uh, the contradiction here I want to explain is that essentially he's going to be financing, let's say, mining projects, oil companies, and that goes against all of his pushing for climate change, for going greener here in the U.S. So how does he reconcile that? Well, actually, the president is calling for more assistance, especially for medium and small size enterprises within the United States, the companies that really generate most of the jobs in America. And just in his first term alone, a uh, first year alone, the Export Import Bank, which helps finance uh, the purchasers of American made products and services, uh, has uh, increased by almost 50 percent its loan availability and programs just in the first year alone. Mm -hmm. But what we really want to do is help American companies export and sell more of what they make here. In America, what they if they make more, if they sell more, they have to produce more, and if they produce more, they hire more people. And the reality is that uh, almost 60 percent of U.S. companies that do export export to only one country, whether it's energy goods, medical technology, uh, manufactured goods, and and we can do a much better job of helping these small, medium-sized companies sell more of their right. products, which are in great demand, highly valued all around the world. Right, but that doesn't answer the question, though, Secretary Locke, um, of whether or not this means that you're going to, that the government finances, as you mentioned, energy products, these are going to be energy companies, these are going to be mining projects or whatnot, uh, in order to boost those exports. Well, actually, a lot of the emphasis will be on clean energy. Uh, this will actually help create more jobs uh, for this new uh, sector in America, and the president is very much committed to combating climate change, but also putting us on a foundation for the new jobs of the future. Yes, there may be some financing of traditional energy companies, but most of those companies, quite frankly, have available sources of funding already. What we're really trying to do is jumpstart the economy, focusing on job creation, especially in the new area of clean clean energy. Well, would you put any new restrictions, let's say, making sure that these companies uh, do lower their carbon footprint before you give financing? Well, we need to really talk to the uh, administrator of the Export-Import Bank, but their real focus is on small and medium-sized companies. And for instance, the president has, for this year alone, called for a 50 percent increase in the loan availability or the financing that benefits small and medium-sized companies in America. Mm -hmm. uh, and again, we are, for instance, uh, embarking on a trade mission to Indonesia and China focusing on clean energy. That's where a lot of the emphasis will be. Okay. I want to talk trade because we're going to get tra uh, trade data in just, uh, in just a few moments, uh, Secretary Locke. And, you know, uh, you mentioned the, uh, the countries or the, the country, the countries that we export to, uh, also that we import from, particularly China. Uh, that is always sort of a, a difficult position for your, for your administration. Um, okay. If, you know, as China is looking at their yuan, possibly letting it appreciate, what are you doing to pressure the Chinese, if you're doing anything to do that? Well, we've been uh, long speaking as a, as a government, as a U.S. government, uh, speaking with the Chinese officials and President Obama when he was in China just a few months ago, and I accompanied him uh, on that trip. In every meeting that he's had with the top government leaders, he's been pressing the case and talking about the need for their currency to float freely and, and not be uh, so undervalued, which actually uh, increases their export potential. Uh, but also puts American companies at a, at a disadvantage when you have almost an uh, um, uh, undervaluation of the currency. And, and countries all around the world have been talking to China, calling on China to reform their monetary policies. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's also important to note that uh, China needs, understands it needs to do this, and they need to really focus less on exporting to the rest of the world uh, to uh, uh, generate growth, uh, economic growth, and they need to really focus more on internal consumption among the Chinese but people. Idea that, also then, that also then presents an opportunity for American companies to sell right. more of our products and services into China. Okay. Secretary Locke, we will have to leave it there, uh, unfortunately. But good to talk with you, as always. Secretary Gary Locke, the Commerce Secretary.